Hi, everyone. My name is Dennis Lim, Director of Programming for Film at Lincoln Center. Uh, welcome to the 58th New York Film Festival um, and to the screening in the revival section. Uh, the film is called The Spook Who Sat by the Door. It's from 1973. It is directed by Ivan Dixon. Um, one of the things we're doing this year is we're inviting filmmakers um, who have new work in the festival to select films as part of the revival section. Uh, and this film was programmed by Afra Masili, who's the director of The Inheritance, the opening film of our current section. Uh, so to say a few words about why he selected this film, I think you can actually see a poster of it uh, in, uh, in a scene in The Inheritance. Uh, so please welcome um, Afra Masili. Yes. Um, thanks. Thanks, Dennis. And um, yeah, and thank you for, for, for programming uh, The Spook Who Sat By The Door. It's been uh, one of my favorite films uh, for, for many years. Um, when I was um, approached about picking a film for the revival section, uh, the idea was in some ways something that was uh, an influence uh, on, on, on my filmmaking. Um, and influence is such a tricky thing to deal with um, because I think so much of it happens in ways that we don't even understand. Um, and for me, when I go back to what really, really got me into filmmaking um, in a lot of ways, uh, I go back to the spook who sat by the door and I remember being about you know 20 or 21 and seeing a, a bootleg copy in a video store at the time but noticing two things, the cover art and then below the cover art, the score by Herbie Hancock. And uh, at the time it was kind of like, I would just watch any black exploitation film just almost with style and the music. And so that's what you think you're getting. And you take this thing home and you put it in the VCR and it certainly seems like that's what you're watching. And then suddenly you're realizing that you're looking at a very advanced filmmaking stylistically, but also uh, He's exploring very advanced uh, thought in terms of uh, politics and tactics for dealing with issues like police brutality, et cetera. Um, and I thought, wow, what a, what, what a beautiful film. Um, but at the same time, um, I hadn't wanted to make films yet. Uh, years later, when I started to make my own work, I revisited the spook who sat by the door. And I wasn't only struck by the sort of content in the way that I was as a young person, but I could see how the film was made. Um, and suddenly the politics of the making of the film and the way that Ivan Dixon and Sam Greenlee went about getting this film made became very clear. And so it almost had this sort of uh, double meaning. Um, you have the, the, the story of the spook who sat by the door and then you have this film that masqueraded as something Hollywood wanted uh, to get itself made. And so you have this sort of doubling um, of, of meaning there. Um, but, you know, I always thought it was really uh, beautifully made, very efficient film that has these very sharp turns between being very political and serious and light, humorous, satirical at times. Um, and uh, and I, I, I had always admired that about the film. And so the sort of tension between playfulness and seriousness and levity and the film's ability to kind of critique cinema of its time um, were all major sort of uh, factors in approaching my film, uh, The Inheritance. Um, and I wanted to bring as much of that energy into the work as I could. Um, the last thing I'll add, it's a little bit of a joke, of all the films that I thought of, I thought, well, what's the thing that seems least likely to work uh, in this section? So I thought, you know, maybe we'll go with the spook set by the door because uh, it'll maybe provide some contrast in terms of what we often think of as uh, a uh, certain type of art house cinema or something like that, because I think it totally fits the bill, but doesn't necessarily get that sort of description always. We appreciated that. Uh, thanks for the pick, Effie. Um, enjoy the film. Thank you.